All right, so the topic is, you know it's bad for Democrats when people like Trevor Noah start speaking facts. This is my second Trevor Noah video in like three or four days. The previous video, he was presenting the fact that the situation in Ukraine, between Ukraine and Russia, could have been avoided if Donald Trump was president. Even the oil price, because people don't ignore Donald Trump, right? Today, Trevor Noah is talking about the stupidity behind the vax mandate or the mask mandate in New York. I also have a report for you from ESPN, which is just stupid. But anyway, if you care, let's go ahead and listen to what uh, Trevor Noah here has to say. Restrictions are being lifted so quickly that things are getting a little confusing, you know? Like, for example, okay, right here in New York City, Mayor Eric Adams has lifted the rule that you have to be vaccinated to attend indoor events, okay? That's gone. But there is still a rule that you have to be vaccinated to go to your workplace. So if someone's job is at an indoor event, they can't go to work, but they can show up to work to watch their colleagues do their thing. Yeah, which is exactly what happened this weekend. A big matchup at Barclay Center with the Nets taking on the Knicks, but Kyrie Irving, who's ineligible to play in the city for failing to comply with the vaccine mandate for city workers, he might have stolen the show. He attended the game as a fan and watched his Nets win from the sidelines. He paid for a ticket, just like a regular person. Yeah, guys, I, I, I don't care like how COVID compliant you are. Shit like this makes zero sense. Can we agree on that? Yep. Can we what? So Kyrie can go inside, not wear a mask, even hug a teammate, but he cannot play. I don't get it. Why? Does the ball have a weak immune system? What's going on? <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. Just think about it. Just think about it. Kyrie can't play, but he can sit in the stands, right? Like a fan. And then as a fan, what happens if he gets picked to take the half court shot to win the car? Can he do that? What are those rules? How does it work? All right. So Trevor Noah has a point. So it says here that the Brooklyn Nets were fined $50,000 for letting Kyrie Irving in the locker room during Sunday home game, which is just stupid. Somebody is just loving using this type of power. That's all it is. So the report here says that the NBA fined the Brooklyn Nets $50,000 on Monday for letting Kyrie Irving into their locker room during a game in which he was unable to play because he's not vaccinated against COVID. That makes no sense, bro. The man was allowed to walk into the arena as a spectator like any other spectator in new york city who just bought a ticket that's just it makes no sense so it says here that the star guard had a seat in the stand just as he did a night earlier to watch the acc tournament championship game after the next game ended he walked off arm in arm with durant kevin durant who had scored a season high 53 point in whatever. So the league statement here is that uh, the Nets violated New York City law and the league health and safety protocol. Bro, those are experts trying to explain this situation to you. They're trying to explain to you how, oh yeah, he's not vaccinated, but other people that are not vaccinated can get in the, the arena. They can buy a ticket and go and watch the game. He came there as a, he was there as a fan, but because he's also a player, the rule don't apply to him or the rule are different for him. Can you can you make that mix? Yo. So anyway, the report here says that until this week, uh, proof of vaccination was required for fan. Though that, man, that mandate has been lifted, there are still one in place for those working at the arena. The nets were already aggravated because that didn't apply to visitors, which is just dumb. It doesn't apply to visitors allowing an unvaccinated opponent to play when Irving couldn't. So Trevor Noah has a point. He has a point here. And I posted a video about that on Sunday also because I watched that game and the moment it happened, I was like, I can't believe my eyes. This is not, this is not true. People cannot be that dumb. We have people who call themselves expert making this type of decision. So what Trevor Noah says here. Yeah, guys, I, I, I don't care like how COVID compliant you are. Shit like this makes zero sense. He's right. He's right. That makes zero sense at all. But somewhere in you in New York, there's going to be a Democrat trying to explain to you how this makes sense. And this is okay. Anyway, let me know what you think about this, bro. And um, it is what it is. God bless you.